Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your February mid-month tarot and oracle card reading. This is a reading for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today's reading will be a detailed Celtic cross-style reading. I do post new readings on Friday and Monday. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. I've also been doing some Wednesday bonus readings. So if you don't mind hitting the like button on this, it helps so that people will see this reading. But then it also gets those Wednesday readings into your algorithm so YouTube will let you know when they're up and, and available. What advice do you have for Gemini, please? What does Gemini need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all? involved with Gemini. Messages for Gemini. All right, we had a jumping card. We're going to use that as a clarifier. We will lay out the tarot here. We're also going to pull a Sacred Destiny Oracle card. These have already been shuffled for the sake of time. Current situation, the Nine of Swords. Needless worry, folks. The immediate influence, see, is the star in your subconscious. I like that a lot. The subconscious is the world in the distant past, the Hierophant. The more recent past, the Three of Pentacles coming towards you as the Emperor. You're represented by the Queen of Wands. The person, this is, you're going to get along famously with whatever you're asking about, the, the Page of Wands. You've got the Five of Cups and your hopes and fears, the Knight of Pentacles and the outcome. I like it. It's very solid. The bottom of the deck, the Queen of Pentacles, Judgment, and now we've got this Ten of Wands in concert with it. So we have here five major arcana. You have Aries, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. Uh, let's see here. And the Archangel Gabriel, finding your life's purpose. So with this Archangel, whatever it is, your divine life's purpose, there's, an, there's information. If you've been going through a challenging time or you've really been investing a lot into your career or into your home, I see somebody, it looks like you're painting stairs. Anyway, um, okay, um, and that could be metaphorical too, I guess, but I see it more as somebody actually doing that. Anything that you've invested some time, you're going to make money off of it. That's what I feel like they're telling you here. You have good news on the way financially. Now, you do have love here, so if your main focus right now is about moving or something financial, I definitely see that moving forward here, but you have a nice little companionship coming in. And so if you've been worried about some area of your life, I feel like they say, not to be worried. Have no fear. Now you have here the card of potential. You're standing on the precipice of change. You have great potential, but you have to take some action. I also feel like they're trying to tell somebody here, be lighthearted about it. But when it's time to be serious with the emperor energy, if it has to do with moving, start cleaning stuff out. Start getting it organized ahead of time or else you might find yourself in a bit of a bind where all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, this is overwhelming all this stuff. Now, others of you, I do feel like they're trying to tell you, too, you got to make room for love. So if you're in a relationship right now, they may also be saying, it's. I see it keep seeing a spotlight. It's time to put a spotlight back on that relationship. So I definitely feel like everything's working out for you. But again, especially in relationships, we don't want to put those on the back burner for too long. And that Queen of Pentacles, she brings in balance. All right, so she's she can balance between being a career professional or making money or being, you know, regardless of your career, it doesn't have to be in the business world. I kept seeing an artist, something like that in the arts or entertainment industry, but either way, it's lucrative. So the ju judgment card is a tipping point. It's a time when things are going to change. And so whatever has been difficult for you, you have freedom here. You have an evolution evolution, but it's also too with the energy of judgment, a very important message. Now he also represents the energy between the divine and the human world. So pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention. Uh, the other night I had a dream that I was reading cards at a farmer's market. I had my own booth set up and I was selling a book I wrote. I was doing all kinds of things. I'm like, is that going to happen? I almost felt like it was real. It was really odd. So if you have something like that, you know, allow yourself to resonate with that feeling of what it would be like to be doing it. Because I, I feel like those especially re reoccurring dreams, those are strong messages. And we don't want to dilute those with our humanity, all right? We want to make sure we're following those. So I like this a whole lot, but I'll tell you what is interesting. 
there's a bit of a, I, we can put this back. I know where they go, okay? So if you've ever watched me fumble around with cards, then you're going to go, yeah, okay, I, I see where this is going. Okay, I'm doing it again. Here I go again. But you know what's interesting? The Emperor and the Hierophant are cards of order. They go four, five. And then you have Judgment Before the World, 20 and 21. So I definitely feel with that star energy kind of plunked right in the middle, you are going into a brilliant cycle. And it's going to feel strong. It's going to feel solid, like you're on the right track, especially too with the world in your subconscious. I feel like you're going to be getting messages, a turning point here for you. So if there's been some disappointment, I just wouldn't get too focused. Like I said, resonate even on something that seems like it's you know a dream or it seems like you know this isn't actually happening but it could all right there's something about that that's going to be important for you so with this look at me i'm already putting them all back without even fumbling so the nine of swords is needless worry you're sitting there this card of restlessness, having difficulty sleeping. And sometimes too, the more emphasis we put on it as being a challenge, the bigger it becomes. Lots of spiritual advisors, in, fa in fact, Wayne Dyer, who's, of course, he wrote many, many spiritual books. He was very famous. He's got a lot of nice little clips on YouTube if you're into those. He used to talk about waking up at 3.30 in the morning because that's when he liked to write because it was quiet. He didn't see that as being up in the middle of the night. And so some of it is just the perspective, all right? So if you've had a little bit of restlessness at night, especially know that you're in the place of change. That's why that's happening. So be excited. Go, oh my God, I woke up in the middle of the night again. Something really exciting is on the way, especially with the star. That is a card that says better times are ahead. The star energy has you connected with the source. She leans on source for balance. It is a card of intuition and knowing, but it's also too a card of self-care. So especially with the Nine of Swords, make sure you're somewhere on the list. Now, if you are looking to get a new job and that Nine of Swords is the restlessness with the old one, and you have a lot riding on a job change, like a move or saying it's sort of, it feels very much like an if then, and it, like a lot is hanging on the balance. They're trying to give you the nod with that energy of the star. You have an influence over others. So know that you're attracting, especially to it, even though it's air, it's Aquarius energy, it's still air energy. And so I do feel like that's going to be very complimentary for you in terms of meeting new people. And you may even find with a job, you have more opportunities than you realized. I feel like you're going to meet somebody who's going to be a nice connection for you. So with the star, it's like we said, it's also self-care, but the next seven, eight weeks are going to be great for companionship. So if you are in a relationship, you may have a reprieve. I see somebody like they're coming up out of a body of water and getting a breath and going back under like that sort of like, okay, I've had, got that breathe, that breathe time here. But it's more than that because with the energy of the world in your subconscious, this is you reaching nirvana, whatever you've been through, whatever you're working towards, you're rising to the occasion. This is like saying you've done you've got a you've done a fabulous job with judgment everything's moving forward but this is a time when you really want to stop time it's one of those times where a new cycle begins and so with your subconscious get ready in the next year ahead where you may have unexpected opportunities of travel things that you've never even thought about that you suddenly are like you know I wonder about that place and the next thing you know there you are sitting there having coffee all the way around the world. I'm telling you. And you also, too, if you see things happening to people around you that you wouldn't have guessed happen, would happen in a very positive way, like all of a sudden somebody posts a picture of themselves in Africa and you go, that's weird. That person doesn't even go to Florida. That's how the hell did they get all the way over there? It's that kind of energy. It's showing you if they can do it, so can you, especially if you do see them as somebody who doesn't typically have those opportunities. That's the universe showing you that the universe hears you as well. So with this energy of the world, life is about to open up for you. And in terms of a love relationship, you have such a fun, uplifting match. You have somebody too who's going to match your speed and your energy. Somebody who, if you like to go out and do different things and you're kind of an adventurous person, so are they. But I also get too, they have a sense of humor that is going to have you laughing until you're crying. You're drawing in such a perfect match. And if you're with them already and say, thank God, because I've been going through it and I know they stand next to me. I know we go shoulder to shoulder. Yes, okay. The cards see it too. You have in the back here, 
the energy of unity, the hierophant. But it's also about finding a match. So those of you that say, yes, I've got my partner for life, they're definitely here in the cards. This can be a marriage. And so if it's not, if you haven't met him yet, I feel like you're pulling in a, somebody who will be on the level of like the hierophant. The hierophant has very high moral values. And it's interesting because the hierophant's also about direction and order, but it couples it with feelings, whereas the emperor is kind of like my way or the highway. So I do feel like with this, you're going to move forward with things in a very measured way, in a way that's very particular, but there's still a feeling of the heart in it, okay? It's not just this is how it's going to be. There's something about that in terms of a job where it really is going to suit you. This is uh, can also be a higher level of training. So those of you that have really built up your skill set, you may have an opportunity to be in, put into like a, a leadership position, something where you're training other people. And if for some reason your skills have been underutilized, I do feel like you're going to come into a place where it's going to feel a whole lot better. You know, it's there's nothing worse. Well, there are worse things, but... But when you're in a job and you go, this is not, I know there's better opportunities for me. I know that I can have more. You're about to walk right into it. So the three of pentacles is an architect. So for some of you, it's about making long-term plans. And you're going to have exactly that. Those of you that have felt stifled, like I'm waiting for this deal to happen. And when this happens, I can finally move forward. Well, here you go. This is all about getting accolades, having high levels of achievement, agreement. It's working well together. It's teamwork. I hear that you're a team player. So I do feel like if there's any kind of a project and you have to have other people working with you, I get the energy of the sun where you're going to invoke a complete match, somebody who really click with. So with this three of pentacles energy, you'll find that things just seem to be easier. Like things just seem to come people, places the right resources seem to come into your awareness. And if you do something in real estate, I feel like you could have one of your best years ever. There's something about your energy and somebody with a page of wands energy where the two of you click together, you link up, and you will be an unstoppable pair. So with the emperor here, the great architect of the universe showing up, I like the emperor because he brings in protection. Nothing is higher than an emperor. And so what the emperor says goes, and he's here to win. The emperor, this is you, okay? You're coming into this energy. This will have you on a winning streak, but it also too with this is about discipline and order. So if you are looking to move, like we said, this may be a time to get things organized, get things cleaned out. And you might find, even if you say, I'm not moving, you might find that you have an urgency to do it anyway. The emperor is meticulous, Everything down to the last and final detail, nothing will get overlooked in this energy. So you won't look back later. You almost look back and say, God, who was that? Who was I channeling? That was incredible. You won't look back though and say, I wish I would have. You'll have it already done. So with the, you as the queen of wands, you're attracting a match, no doubt about it. But I told you before, in the energy of the star, you are going to be an influence, that golden robe that she wears. That's really her inner beauty. And so people around you will be hanging on your every word. If you do any kind of training or teaching, you're going to find that people are nodding and saying things like, that makes sense. Yes, they're in agreement. And they're not just yes people. They actually do agree with what you say. So with this, you're going to be in a very powerful energy, but she's also quite social. So you'll find that you meet new people that you click with, and she's very loyal. So you'll find that those people that you connect with, you'll know for a long, long time to come. Now, this page of wands, we've given some, some air time to already because it's such a fabulous energy. The page of wands is an uplifter, a go-getter. So whatever it is that you need done, give it to the page of wands. But the page of wands is also messenger telling you your life is going to become lighter, more fun. There's success here. And it truly is a time of expansion. So the five of cups, what's this doing in your hopes and fears? All right, you've got more opportunities. So if something didn't happen, they're just saying don't focus too much energy on it. Keep moving forward and look for the, the opportunities because this Knight of Pentacles brings in an offer. This is also commitment, by the way. So anything that you engage in here, whether it's a love relationship or a job, it's a commitment. There's nothing hidden here. It is like, I say what I mean, I mean what I say, and it's very crystal clear. It's very reliable. It's also meticulous. So if you need a job done, the Knight of Pentacles is the one to give it to. This is the workhorse of the tarot. So I definitely feel like if you do something in the creative field too, 
you may meet somebody who's like a nice counterbalance in terms of if you're more creative, they're the workhorse, the Knight of Pentacles. All right, let's see what else you need to know here. Messages, please, for Gemini. What else does Gemini need to know, please? Abundance, all right? Not surprised to see it. You got a gold mine coming in with that Knight of Pentacles. No need to worry. You don't, I told you before, that Nine of Swords, you've got listen to your intuition, especially with the star. That's a very highly intuitive energy. In the near future, and you've got there's something better. So ask this or something better. Good things are on the way for you, Gemini. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.